Hey folks, Tracy here with Scrappy's Rustics. Y'all know I love to do something different and out of the box. I had done this a few years back when I first started my page. I forgot all about it. I'm super excited to uh, show you this and I hope it inspires you because it certainly inspired me. So we're just gonna use some plaster chalk paint, some gloss Mod Podge and a piece of scrapbook paper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do chippy over scrapbook paper. That is correct, chippy over scrapbook paper. Cool, right? Now, mind you, if this was already Mod Podge or decoupage down to your surface, it's not gonna curl up. Or if you do it separately, it'll lay down just fine. Now I'm doing two separate examples um, where I'm fully covering one of the sheets. I, I meant to do half and half, but I don't know. I lost my mind and I ended up having to do two because I was gonna do them side by side comparison, but I forgot. So uh, one we did full coverage with the gloss and the other we just did spots. And the reason I use gloss is because on the spots, um, you can see them to know where to put your Vaseline. Now, if you don't have Vaseline, you can use wax, not candle wax, but a creamy style wax. And um, so this one, we just, both of them, we just randomly put, well, the one where I put the blotches of Mod Podge, I put the, oh, we didn't get there yet, but I put the <laughs> Vaseline over where I put the um, Mod Podge. This one has full Mod Podge, so I just randomly put Vaseline here and there and I'm just showing you what it looks like. Now what I like to do first is take my paper towel and take off what I can. Um, so this actually takes off some of the paint and it also um, takes the Vaseline off because you know you don't want that on your project. Now be generous with it. Um, uh, the blobbier, the, the better results you're going to get. And another reason, I you can do it without putting Mod Podge over it, but if you have a cheaper style cardstock or or scrapbook paper that's not very good quality it will it will basically just rub the the paper off you know because it's getting wet and the paint and all the vaseline and all that but if it's a, if it's a really good quality you could get away with not um putting some mod podge down but i do recommend it and it, it you can't see the difference now out of the two um i would say the one that i did full coverage with the mod podge came out better only because when the light hits the one where I just did blotches here and there, you can kind of see a little bit of glossiness. You can see the difference in textures, or not textures, but you can see the difference between the chalk paint and kind of a glossy. So I would go with the whole thing, then randomly put your Vaseline um, you know, where you want it. However, both came out with about the same results. So then I just took my little transfer tool, uh, the, the one that IOD comes with, you can use a scraper. And then I just, so I do the paper towel first, then I take the scraper one way, and then I go the other way. Y'all, this is so cool because you can really pinpoint pieces of your scrapbook paper that you want to show through on your project. Just adds some more depth, some more interest, and it's it's a little different. It's kind of cool. And there's some really cool scrapbook papers out there that we all know. So um, yeah, it's pretty neat, pretty neat. And it's fairly easy, not messy. Um, I just put the one coat of paint on. I really think it gives an authentic look as far as being old and chippy. And you can see that um, the scraper there definitely took off more. And um, yeah, so the more, like the, the, the one right there in the left corner, that had a pretty good gob of Vaseline. So don't be shy with it, you'll get better results. Um, but there's both side by side. I hope this inspires you. If you like my style, I'd love for you to hit that subscription button. Y'all, you never know what kind of video I'm gonna come out with. I think this is a really cool process and uh, I, I hope it inspires you and you're excited about it. Check out our website at scrappiesrustics.com. We got a lot of cool stuff on there you can't find in your everyday craft stores and uh, Walmarts, that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, see you soon.